kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video tutorial on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can uh, create a barcode or uh, QR code scanner and with the uh, center uh, rectangle, or you can say it like a sub view. So, guys, let me first of all show you what I am talking about. So, here I already have connected my phone, and from there you can see that I have this. Uh, scanner here and this scanner can scan uh, the QR code so let me write something QR codes so if I click on image and let me see if it will scan it okay I think it is for the barcode let me just write barcodes all right suppose we have this one and if I click on here, so okay. So here, after we uh, we scan the barcode, so then we will be able to show the barcode uh, this the text and the string under this uh, barcode. So guys, that's how it will work. So guys, let's get started. So here, I am going to create a, a new project, and I will click on empty project, and I will click on finish. and uh, yes now the project has been created and here we have to use a library for the qr or barcode scanner so first of all we have to go to our build.gradle file and in here we have to add the library and we have to write implementation me dot dm7 dot barcodes scanner that x i n g and its version will be 1.9.13 all right so i will just click on sync now and yes now this library has been successfully integrated now we have to go to our, ma our manifest file and in here we have to add the permission of camera so after having this uh, camera permission because we have to use the camera in order to scan so for that's why we have added the uh, the user permission and after this uh, for this we are going to use this main activity and first of all we have to go to our main activity dot xml file and here let me change the constant from constant layout to relative layout and let me remove the text view from here and then we have to use the okay so here uh, we will be using the full screen so for this we can use the xing a scanner view and in here its width will be match parent and height will also be the match parent then after this we are going to write uh, the mask color so for the mask color here we can set it to two seven double zero double f double five uh, and you can also specify any color if you uh, uh, if you want and then we have to use scared finder so make sure that you you mark it as true and then we have the border alpha and it will be 0 0.5 and then we have the corner radius it will be uh, 10 dp and then we will be using shoot scale to fill so it will be true and then we have to use the border color the border color can uh, will be white so let me see if we have the white color here then we also have the laser color it will also be white and then we have the border width so the width can be 2 dp and we have the rounded uh, rounded corner and it should be true and finally we have to set the id so here we set the id as scanner view all right so now we have the view and also we can add the text like scan here so for this we can okay so after using this uh, scanner view then we have to write linear layout then we will have match parent and 
okay so width will also be wrap content and the height will also be wrap content all right and the orientation will be vertical and then we can set the center layout center horizontal it will be true and then we will use the margin as 16 dp and okay so inside this linear layout we are going to use uh, we are going to write the text so first of all the text will be scanned so here we can say text view and it will be wrap content wrap content the both the width and height and then we can say text size will be 32 dp and then we can say layout gravity and it will be center horizontal we will use the text color as white then we can say text alignment it will also be center all right and the text will be scan okay and let me just change it to 35 dp okay so now uh, our application is uh, the xml file is ready now let's go back to our uh, main activity.java file and in here first of all write private xing scanner view then we have to bind the view so for this we can say scanner view equal to find view by id r dot id dot scanner view and then uh, we are going to okay so before this we have to write now uh, we have to to make it a full screen so for in order to make it full screen we can use the get window dot set flags and in that flag we can say window manager dot layout params and we can use it like flag full screen and we have to use a mask and for the mask we can use window manager dot layout params dot full flag full screen all right and after this we have to use the aspect uh, tolerance so for the scanner view okay so before this we cannot access uh, right before we bind the view so here we can say scanner view dot set aspect tolerance and it will be 0 0.5 and then we can say scanner view dot set result handler so basically after we uh, scan the barcode or the qr code then we have to bind it to our uh, to a result handler so for this we can say this okay so it's showing us error so we can use main activity dot this and then we can use the uh, scanner view uh, method start camera all right but here you can see we have some errors 0.5 okay so it will be f because it's a floating uh, number and here we have to implement uh, the interface and it's xing scanner view dot result handler okay and now it's showing an error so we have to click alt enter and you have to click implement methods and override the method handler handle result all right and right after this uh, okay so here we have to use on pause method and in here we have to pause the r scanner view or we can stop the camera so here we can uh, stop our camera and inside our handler uh, handle result we can print a toss message and this message will be uh, barcode text equal to and here we can say raw result dot get barcode format we have uh, multiple things which we can print and here we can use the get text method and we can say get text uh, length short dot show and okay so i think that is enough for our with this application but be because we are not using the runtime permission so we will have to manually add the runtime permission so let me just run the app app and for the runtime permission i will be creating a separate video on this so you can i will upload the link in the video description so guys you can go there and 
complete this application okay so here we I have the Samsung my device connected with my laptop and there you will see that the application is not showing anything all right because we did not uh, add the the camera permission so for in order to add the camera permission what we are going to do is let me just open our app and here i will go to where is apps apps and our application name is my application so i will just type my application and from there i will go check for the permissions and we will add the camera permission and now if we open the app and there you can see that we have the scan view here all right so that's how it will work where we have the scanner and let me add this uh, scan this and there you can see that barcode text equal to 0511140 uh, something like that all right guys so guys if you think that you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you and goodbye